Hey guys, welcome back to the LBP Create Guide. I am the Mr. Malro, and today I'm actually making a new level. Now, I know I start a lot of levels and I don't really get around to finishing them that often, but I will try my hardest to try and get this done just so I can bring something out for you, even if I can't think of an individual tutorial to do. You can watch these and actually find out things. Uh, that you know, there's kind of mini tutorials inside of these levels, so I like making them and showing you what to do. Even if I don't finish them, you'll still learn and you can carry on from where I left off. So, with this one, we are making a card game. Now, I know you're thinking, well, that's boring, that's weird. But what we're going to be doing is, in this first episode, is making cards. And what I want you to do is, if you can think of ideas for cards, maybe take a picture of them and, or let me know and design it or send me it. Um, let me know if you have a design to send in, send in and I'll make a PSN or whatever so I can add people. And uh, you can send in your card designs and I will get to making them into monsters for the cards. So this is going to be the first monster. I haven't got a name for him yet. That's what, another thing you could do. You could help me name the monsters. But um, he's going to have a body soon eventually. But I think that's a very strange looking one. And instead of having sack boys, I think having different types of monsters created even just using this stuff would be a lot better. Now, anyway, before we get carried away with explaining, we should actually make the card, because that's going to be the main part of it. Um, the card game I should explain a bit more about. Basically, it's going to be a game not well close to, think of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's not going to be very close to them. It's going to see, you're going to see a lot of um, thought from the ideas from that those series put into the level, but it's not going to be like a direct copy, and you you will be able to see a lot. Of things are well most of the time a lot different. So with the card design, I think I might go. I think we should make them a bit bigger actually, because if we're going to have the playing field, we can make the camera zoom out quite a bit anyway. So and the cards can then be a bit bigger. It makes sense really, doesn't it? So let's kind of. Because the bigger the card, the easier it is to detail on the card, put more detail onto the card. So I think that's about the right shape for a card. I am not sure. So what I've got here is in my hand, you can't see it, but I've got my library card and I've just seen if it's about it. If it can... Yeah, that's fine. So this is not actually the whole card. Uh, this is just the outer edges of the card. And I think instead of having square edges, we should do round edges, because round edges are cool. Not that square edges are not cool, it's just round edges are cooler. <laughs> so, let's get rid of those. Like so. And I know I said I wasn't going to make a video for a while, but then I thought of an idea last night when I was in bed. I was like, oh, why don't I make this? I was going to make it for Little Big Planet Vita, but I thought... With Little Big Planet 2, it's got more player base and more people can enjoy it on this channel because I'm sure a lot of the people who watch these videos um, play Little Big Planet 2 over Little Big Planet Vita. Um, I could make a Little Big Planet Vita version. I mean, I could literally just use my eyes and copy what I see, but I won't make that just yet. For now, we'll stick with this version. So I want some kind of little part that bumps out here. And this is where the card stats could be, possibly, kind of thing. Um, so let's just copy this. And let me cut across there. I think we can do that one. Like so. Is that right? No. What I want to do is get so. Like that. Yeah, I think that's better. So this is basically where the hit points are going to be displayed and um, the level or name or something can go here. I'm not 100% on it yet. Probably going to have the HP definitely there though, or the type or something like that. So next we need a picture frame for the monster. So the monster's picture should be about that, I think. I think that's fair. Yeah. Right, so then what we need to do is get this, oh, hang on, across there, and now, well, we need to put the this bit around the rest of the card, 
The reason I made that smaller again is so I can do that, as you can just see. So, I think what we'll do, we'll put it up to here. Oh. Oh dear. I broke it. I have to be careful with this tool, because a lot of the time it makes the game crash. I don't know if it's just my game or... Did your game crash when you use this wrongly sometimes? I don't know if it's just me or what. Because I was creating a, game, a level a while back and uh, it crashed on me. I was like, no! No! Because I'd, I'd spent like an hour doing something and it just crashed. Can't stand it when that happens. Right. And then bring this across here. Along there. Along there. So now we have the frame for the monsters to go in for the picture. Oh, no. Okay, you didn't want to go that way. You go the long way then. Yeah, just make sure that's in place. So there's the card so far. And I think that looks pretty nice. <laughs> um, so then we just need a area for the bottom bit here. And this is where the stats of the cluster are going to be. So it'll display what moves he knows or a description as such. And then you can choose the move later on or whatever. Depending on what I decide to do. At the minute I don't know whether to have multiple attacks or single attacks. And we obviously need power up cards eventually. Um, or something similar. So I think that card design is pretty nice if you ask me. So what we're going to do quickly is now change the colour and such of it. And let's see, let's go with gold frame. Nah, that's two gold, I think. Let's see. Muppet pack. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately. Um, we'll, we'll see another design. <laughs> okay, I can't think of a design to go with. Let's try the red metal. If that was all yellow, I would have said yes. Ah, why don't we just try the next gold? No, right. no, still a bit. I'm no good at choosing materials. I'm probably going to spend hours choosing a material. So, I apologise if I do. <laughs> but, it's, it's what, it's what you got to do when you're making these things. If you're a noob like me. I don't even know. Let's just go with blue wood for now. And the picture definitely needs to be blue wood because that sticker, like begging for, um, begging for asking. You know, you bleh, You know what I mean, right? This part, this wood looks good. Uh, I think I want to change that one now because it needs to be a different. Shade. Hmm. Hang on. No. That's the same. I can't think of a material to go with. I think with that bit, we should try that. No. You look stupid. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's just go with that, yeah? Instead of spending 20 minutes choosing materials to go with. Maybe not that. Oh, I'm rubbish at choosing materials. Help me, guys, help me. I wish I was streaming this now. Then you could suggest materials I could go with. I'm using that material. What am I doing? Uh, no. I need a wooden material that's similar to that. Not identical but still needs to be kind of a smooth wood colour thing. And I think I may have found it. I, th I think we're going with that one so far. Yes. What about this? Yeah, definitely that one. So we now have the material, and what we do need now, quickly, if I can find it again, is the blue wood, so we can put stickers on it. And it will still look cool. I might even change that to sticker panel in, in a bit, but I think that's fine for now. So, I think that's a pretty nice card. Um, 
let's see. So let's just see putting a sticker of my face on it. Uh, there's a monster card. Cool, yeah, cool. Uh, so here we'll have like a little emblem saying the monster's type. And I think we'll have its HP there and its name across this bit. I'm not 100% on it yet. But let's, let's keep that picture on for now just to, as an example. And probably make it a bit bigger. I think that's about right. Because then, if it's bigger, players will be able to read the text easier. I'll be able to put names and stuff on it a lot easier and such. But yeah, I think that I'm, I'm proud of that design. So if you have any monster suggestions or monster name suggestions for this guy, I think I call him Halloweenus or something. You know, just something a bit weird. But uh, yeah, just give me an idea for names or monsters and stuff. Or even any suggestions for this level. And make sure to sub if you have any suggestions that you want me to put into the level, let me know. If you have any random other tutorials you want me to put in, let me know. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and the uh, and Left Trigger UK. I was going to say LVP Create Guide, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.